those of you familiar with the channel, I haven't really done any bass fishing yet, but I might be a convert now. After all, it's the most popular game fish in the United States. Might as well try them out. Largemouth bass are aggressive visual predators that'll eat just about anything that'll fit in their mouths, such as snakes, lizards, turtles, frogs, worms, and even birds. My weapon of choice was a four inch soft plastic worm, but you can use a variety of different lures and baits for bass. When you're using a worm, you can let it sink down and then jig it to give it some action. Oh! Mm. I had him on. I had like a 12 incher on. I just saw it. I just didn't set the hook. I put it right on that uh, log, let it sink down. See if I can get him. Oh! He took half the fucking worm, man. Dude, they, they like those worms. I got something. Yes. Nice Dude. size, man. Dude. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Just bam! Whoa! Oh, that was perfect, right in the middle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, fish on. Oh yeah, yeah He's pulling, he's pulling drag. This is a nice one, I think. I mean, nice fight. That looks like a good fish, dude. I wonder if that's the big boy. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, that looks like a chunker, dude. That's a nice one. About the same size. Maybe, yeah. My first largemouth. Boom. There's some big boys in there. Yeah, I'm hoping we hook into one of the big Mac Daddies, they... dude. Oh, I got some nibbles. Oh, really? Yep. Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> oh, it's a big one. It's a big one, dude. Oh, hell. Hell. Don't feel like fishing my ass. Oh, I can see it. Oh, actually, he's not big, dude. They're just hard fighters. Scrapper. He already caught three. That's a nice one. In what, 20, 30 minutes? Look at him go. Yeah, nice, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This might be a big one. This is gonna be a fight. Yeah. That's a good one. Shoot, that's an eater. That's an eater, dude. So now what you do is you just let, let him, him sit here and pump out all of his blood. His meat's yeah, gonna dude. be just super clean now. See, dude, you want to get him in the water because wounds coagulate if you do it on land and you don't bleed your fish all the way. Peter throwing out the chatterbait. Oh my god, I got one. Yes. I got one on, dude. On the chatter. Oh my god, it seems like a pretty big one. That's a nice one. He's, he's quite a bit smaller. Oh, well, there he goes. I'm trying to try catch a little bigger one. Yep, lucky cast. This is it, though. Not bad. Yeah. Oh! No, I missed him. I just that was him. such a bite. Nah, it's all good. We should go. We should go. We should do top five. We want to. Pretty heavy, yeah. That's a good fish, dude. Fishing backpack, dude. That is a nice one, dude. That's a dandy. Two on the worm, dude, and one on the. 
Chatterbait. chatterbait. I forgot about the chatterbait. Dude, the yeah, chatter, dude. That was fun, man. <laughs> that was badass, too. You hit the water and it was fish on. Wash off your fish first and then it's on to filleting. Just fillet by getting the knife down behind the gill plate and then turning it so it's parallel to the table once you've gotten down to the spine. Then just work the blade down the fish as close to the spine as possible until you reach the tail. Repeat for the other side. Once you have your fillets, clean them up a little bit and wash them. Get your grill going with some charcoal and make sure the coals are even and hot. Fish cooks best over high flame. While you're waiting for the coals, it's time to season the fillets with extra virgin olive oil, salt, and pepper. Yep. Nice. <laughs> Five minutes later, flipping it. You definitely don't want to overcook your fish, so just remember they'll cook a little bit off the heat oh, too. A little lemon. You'll know it's done when the meat is flaky all the way down. Throw a little more salt on top, and that's it. Bon appetit. So what do you think of the bass? It's delicious. Yeah? I don't think I've ever tried bass before. It's yeah? very mild and flaky. Yeah? Is it like cod? What do you think? It's one of my favorites. Really? So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my first catch and cook video here on ePark Fishing. I'm hoping to do a whole bunch more of these catch and cook videos, so if you liked it, don't forget to click subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments what your favorite part of the video was. Hope to see you soon, on the bank or in the comments. Peace.